day, folks. Out here with Randy. We're working in my hometown, which is Enum Paul, Washington. It's right by my house. We go to church with him and he he's a honey farmer, so we buy honey from him as well. Uh, guess what tree we're taking care of here? So it's a big huge fir and it is uprooting. They kind of put some rounds on here, I think, to kind of help hold it, I guess. You can clearly see it's definitely failed. It's resting in these trees. I can't really tell from the ground, honestly, what's going on up there. I can't tell if it just started to lean or if it's really fully resting in those trees. I can't tell until we get up there. So we're setting up the bucket truck here. We're Because we don't want to set up on this because this is actively failing, you know? So we set the bucket up here. We're going to cut what we can reach. And then we're going to actually drive up here so that we can get, you know, We'll probably get another 10 feet of height. We kind of have sort of a lot of room to work with. Like the, the whole tree obviously won't fit because there's a fence and there's all these trees in here. And I did tell the guy there is a chance this tree might have to go. We might have to get rid of this tree because this top is right. It's just one of those things. It's hard to tell from the ground. I just, you know, we're going to get it stripped up as much as we can. And then we're going to kind of make a game plan from there. I, on trees like this, I... <laughs> The plan is so often changes. Sometimes with this, I just don't even really make much of a plan. I'm just gonna cut what I can on the bucket and then I'll have a lot more visibility and then I'll, I'll make my plan. But there is a chance that this tree will have to go. And Ted's okay with that, Ted's super cool. Like I said, we, we go to church with him and we buy honey from him. Yeah, he's really, he understands if this tree has to go, but this is a nice tree, you know, I don't really wanna cut it down if we don't need to. Well, I guess Randy's already got it set up, so I'll just get headed up there. I hate to inform you guys, but I'm no longer driving the Jetta. I have a truck now, went and got my taxes done and the guy was like, yeah, you should buy a work truck. You don't need to keep driving that Jetta. So I got this utility truck, it's really great. I can keep all my, all my tools in here, so. Not quite as awesome as the Jetta, obviously, but, but <laughs> it, it'll get the job done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we got this running joke because I don't want to own a tree service. I don't want to have all the equipment and the employees, but Randy says it's inevitable. He says, I'm just going to end up owning a tree service. It's going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> so, but anyways, I got this utility truck now. It's really great just for like contract climbing. I got all my stuff in here or most of my stuff in here. Yeah, this thing is sweet. It's really convenient, you know, it's basically a toolbox on wheels. It's similar to the one I had at East Side, but it's it's not a dually, it's a single tire in the back. Yeah, I'm gonna get started. Used to that Florida weather. I should have known your hands were cold already. <laughs> <laughs> you should have felt my hands. I should have just known better. <laughs> I don't know what the heck's my problem. But I found them. I want them to go. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to drive, go back, I'll get you. Yeah. I'll be able to throw them so hard. It was yeah. Perfectly on. What kind of a shot was that? It didn't even go in my hands. Oh, this is gonna be quick. Put that on his wood pile? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, 
that'd be too much. Under. I'm gonna have to change that out of my working stocks. <laughs> you say <laughs> you're wearing sandals? <laughs> my mandals. <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> Randall the Mandal. I thought, I thought, <laughs> Randall the Mandal. <laughs> That's I your like cousin. that name. <laughs> Randall, Randall the Mandal. Randall the Mandal's in the house. <laughs> I, can, I can climb in these. It's like not even warm. <laughs> well, it's like I'm. Uh, I have socks on. <laughs> You should make a line. Randall, them. you should sell them. Right, right, Randall, Randall, Randall the Mandal sandals. Randall sandals. <laughs> Randall sandals. Randall the Mandal. You want one or two shanks in them for climbing? <laughs> Randall sandals. You want a steel strap? <laughs> Go steel step over the over the top. But I'm not a firm believer in closed-toed sandals. That's just not, it's not, a, not a sandal. That's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing closed-toed yeah. sandals. What you're wearing is foot prisons. Yeah. I'm all open free, feeling like I'm in Florida still. <laughs> yeah, do ya? <laughs> you feel like you're in Florida still? 592. Yeah, go for it. Randy's driving down to Florida to look at properties. <laughs> <laughs> he's thinking about. He's thinking about moving. Yeah, man. I don't. I don't play. I, I kind of. Well, <laughs> you go have these. There you go. Put <laughs> timeshare together. That's beautiful. So we yeah, I, get, I, get, I get the winter. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say we have to timeshare together. Yeah. <laughs> You live there in the summer. <laughs> yeah. It's super flipping hot, dude. <laughs> yeah, you live there in the summer. I live there in the summer. I don't see what the issue is. Oh, boy, that's so deep. You gotta push the bubble. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I, I really like that. Did you have two sharps so I can rock this one? <laughs> I shouldn't I should put on the boots. I probably get crap for wearing wearing my Randall's mandals. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, another piece for me. Dude, this guy's awesome. Oh yeah, he seems like a really rad dude. I mean how, and he's, how could how could you not be awesome if you were like a honey farmer? I know. Yeah. And he's, he's giving us honey? Yeah. That's like I mean, that's how you're paying me as an honey. <laughs> that's cool, right, bro? Yeah, yeah, no, like, I just need like a pint or something. <laughs> oh, I forgot to mention. <laughs> I came here for this job getting honey. <laughs> you're gonna get a, get a full gallon. <laughs> oh, poor bit. You're finally, I'm used to yours now. And it's a weird thing because you don't like. Trying to explain how to run the bucket. It's oh, nice moves though. That was a like that. Move. Yeah, that was the old branch rattle. It's a gutter old branch smack. rattle. That's what. That was my only toy as a child. <laughs> the branch rattle. rattle. It's one of those things too. When you try to like explain to somebody how to use the bucket. Nobody really knows. They just get used to it. They're just like, oh, I'll so figure it like, out. Like, how do you do the lower boom? How do you do the upper boom? And nobody even knows. And, yeah, I couldn't explain to you even right now what it's, how to do it, and that's my button stuff. Right. I, mean, I don't know, you just, I just know the controls. But you'll, the only problem you're going to run across is when you get your bucket truck from getting the tree service here soon. <laughs> <laughs> then you have to get used to your controls. The inevitable bucket truck. Oh, uh, you're going to get it. You're going to be a chipper, dump trailer, yeah. a vine. I will not own a tree service. I will not own a tree service. I just cannot get over the speed on that that uh, that nano speed bar. Yeah, it works. It works great. I got it from this little. Uh, I don't know if you ever heard of a store called Sappy Supply. Uh uh tell me more. <laughs> it's pretty much the only place that I buy anything these days. Is that a new Arbor Supply store? It's a new new and um, improved. It's pretty much the best store of all time, actually. <laughs> 
shop for my clothes. I know, I got, I, got, I got the property for a tree service. Instead, I run a store out of my guest bedroom. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> doing it right. <laughs> I could just cut all these branches and let them fall, but I, you know, I, I'm just doing that because, well, you see, he's got the wood pile over there. It's just, just make it easier for Ted. He's a good guy. What do you like better? Battery or gas sauce? Ooh. Well, I battery. <laughs> yeah, I think I do too. I, I feel like when I really need to get down to business, I go for the gas one. Me too. Yeah, I like I enjoy the quietness and the and not having to pull start it. Just a lot of I know a lot of fish. But when you, like you said, when it's time to get down to business, a gas saw will do it for sure. It's ripping time. You know, if I would have known I was going to have to work so hard. Put a word double socks. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm definitely wearing double socks. It's weird. I don't, I don't, Are you I really? Don't, uh, yeah. I, don't, I double sock like almost all year. This That's one's warm. got a burl on it too. But I would have worn like my pajamas still. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how to explain it. I've just noticed as the years have gone on, I do less and less planning in the ground. Like That's very wise because you don't know until you get up there. Yeah. Just literally, I have no clue. Yeah, like I haven't even thought about the top for a while. I try to think so far ahead that it's stump ground. <laughs> <laughs> I and hate that's stump grinding. That's why I don't want other people. <laughs> and if you do on the tree service, it will be inevitable. You will grind a stump, and that'll ruin I, your twelve year free of stump grinding. Dude, it's that's my crowning achievement. I feel that's like as a tree honestly, guy, honestly, one of the best achievements I've ever. That's amazing. Yeah, it's like my most proud. Yeah, I would brag about that all the time. Never ground a stump. I mean, I I like. I'm a curious guy. I'm like, oh, I'm gonna try that. See what that's like. But I've never seen somebody grind a stub and been like, oh yeah, let me get in. <laughs> yeah, that looks so fun. <laughs> that's a lot of dust. That's a lot of dirt in your face. It's a lot of dirt and grime. Oh, look at that broken window. Man, I'm glad I didn't break that. That was. Dude, I really think this tree is supporting itself. Oh, it's still being. It's not. It's so. just. I'm gonna get no. a little higher. Oh wow, that's... But I, I'm not seeing any like big rubbing scaffold limbs on here. You know what I mean? Yeah. That I was expecting to see, which is a, obviously a very nice sign. It's a real treat. Yeah. This one's gonna go flying though. It's gonna land on the pile. Perfect. <laughs> oh, the, the piece of wood? Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, then I'm chilling. It's in the pile for you. Oh, what the heck? I... <laughs> What's so the weird? The gust of wind, right? it was gonna go around right the pile. Yeah, it does feel pretty windy today. <laughs> I get it's you. leftover wind from yesterday. Oh, I get you. All right, that was a warm up one. This one's going on. It's a big engine in it. Oh, nice. It oh, was. It actually was kind of close. That was, <laughs> was way, way. What do you mean? I fine. mean, uh, yeah, of, yeah, course. of course. I'm surprised it didn't split and stack itself. Yeah. That's a beautiful nickname, double stack. <laughs> oh! The way you're stacking those, I'm gonna have to call you quadruple stack. <laughs> <laughs> Some new Oopal stack. Uh, I'm. I'm dude, I'm just, sorry, dude. I just no, can't no, help myself. <laughs> I, I feel it. I can't help myself sometimes either. I gotta get under. Maybe. And then, uh, oh, bogus. Uh, long boom. That's that's what they call me. <laughs> yeah, they nicknamed Devil Stack turned into Long Boom. <laughs> yeah, well, long, long Boom Jake. That's uh, that, that's, that's a, actually a really cool nickname. <laughs> like, I wish. <laughs> yeah. What's up, Long Boom? Yeah, Jake. they call me Long Boom Jake. You 
you know it. <laughs> it takes me double back. Double shot <laughs> 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 My battery died. <laughs> I guess Perfect. I didn't have three bars. Why don't you just leave that there and I'll walk, I'll walk <laughs> Look under. Look how that is. <laughs> I know. I'll walk under and get the ropes. I wonder the... if I take the battery out and put it back in. I might have to just use my like, man muscles. Well, or you do it manually. That's how I say put the brake on and go, <laughs> go Egyptian style. <laughs> Egyptian style. Dang it. All right, whipping out. Long boom. <laughs> Whipping up the long boom? No. Yeah. Oh, Are you clear? Yeah, yeah. You're, uh, go. No, you're good. I just, I saw that. I saw your. Uh, oh, oh. oh I, I mean, I know exactly where this is gonna go. <laughs> that, that was, that was perfect. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. Well, it worked not out. Not propped up anymore. Yeah, it's not. I do as well. <laughs> Did you just hop out? Yeah, yeah hop out. It's a slump one if you got him. Cranky okay. doodle dandy. <laughs> Cranky doodle dandy coming up. Tell me when, because I'm yeah. not looking in my mirror at all. <laughs> Two really... of my eyes are closed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Keep going. You got three feet, two feet, one foot. Okay, good. I'm gonna swing it wide and hope we get stuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bring it in. Bring it in. Bring it home. Bring it home, poor oh. sock. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, in there that's pretty great, good. dude. You think awesome. we're good? I do. Yeah. All right. We're not we're not on this route, but wow, look at this. Yeah. It's, it's really coming down. It's really good. Great. So you ready to get those two branches, then we'll move the bucket in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, another 50 feet at least. I am working hard down there. <laughs> <laughs> Just reminding me. Getting a lot more branches than I thought. With the bucket? Yeah. Dude, I know. It's get them great. Close. Like, you're literally going to be able to top it in no time. <laughs> you, you know what, man? Um, this is a really nice tie-in tree right here. Oh, to the right of it? Yeah. Yeah. I might, it looks I might, like a I might, wonderful tie-in. I might scroll my way up that one here in a minute. I'm going to put a little more. Because that's actually rubbing pretty good right there. I don't know. Like... I don't imagine those branches would hold this big tree up, but sometimes it's a surprise. Well, there's one rubbing on the other tree pretty bad, too. Oh, really? Like uh, across the other side. There's one rubbing up there. That's oh, like, I, mean, yeah. I wouldn't imagine. I mean, there are maybe. Few. Oh, yeah, those branches are rubbing a little bit. Ooh, rub a dub dub. Down the corner. Well, about all I can reach there, Randy. So the question is, do I top it? Oh man, it's really howling towards that. You know what, man? I cannot get this to the left of that tree. I'm gonna have to ponder for a minute here. It's really rubbing a lot actually on this other tree. Maybe I shouldn't be underneath this thing. Dang, dude. Okay. I'm gonna have to squirrel my way out of here and uh, head on up this guy. All right, Randy, get that dirty bucket out of my face. All right, and I am climbing this tree with spikes. It's a dug fir. If it were like an oak or something, then I wouldn't want to do it. But just this, I know this species really well. This is not going to mind, and uh, it's safer to do it this way because that's a dangerous situation. I, more places to stand. It's just safer this way, and I just know dug firs. They don't really care. Well, people all the time say that you like kill the tree, and I think that's true in a lot of places, like certain trees in certain areas, but not these. This is the climber, Dublin and flip line. I'm trying to get these on my site. Look at this branch rubbing. Oh. Rub a dub dub. It actually looks pretty cool how the bark's all rubbed. Hmm. 
Uh, what's gonna be your first piece of equipment? <laughs> I'm not earning a tree <laughs> service. I'm a contract climber. Probably a bucket truck. <laughs> <laughs> Seems like a good piece of equipment to own. I'll just keep using your bucket. I just want you to buy a bigger bucket, really. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Is that so much yeah. to ask? That's so much to ask, Randy. I told you I was gonna go take out a loan. I'm I feel foolish with this stupid 60 foot bucket. Yeah. Get buy one that's cleaner too. <laughs> yeah. A lot cleaner. Nicer. Doesn't get dirty as fast. Yeah. Okay, so I'm about to head over to that tree. It's actively uprooting. It's failing. I'm tied into this tree right here, which is really straight. But I just want to be a little extra safe, so. I'm gonna use this accessory carabiner. I, I wish I had one even weaker. This one's good for like 1,200 pounds, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this right here, a deliberate weak point in my system. Cause I'm gonna be in that tree and to be able to stand in one spot, I'm gonna have to lanyard in. All right, headed over. So here's my flip line. Ordinarily, I would clip it like that, right? But this tree is actively failing. Instead, I'm going to use this little guy. It's almost the weaker, the better. Okay, so you see that? I'm clipped into this thing. This is not good for life support. It's only good for, I think, 1,200 pounds or something versus that big steel snap. The reason I'm tied into this little guy is because this tree has actively failed. It is uprooting. When I'm up here making cuts, weight's shifting around and stuff. If this thing were to fail while I'm standing in it, my flip line, my harness, my rope, all, all that tree, everything in this system is super strong. Holds thousands and thousands of pounds. If this tree fails while I'm in there, in theory, like my harness is gonna cut my body in half, you know, from all that weight. So by putting this it, w deliberate weak point in the system, if this tree goes over, this is gonna be the first thing that's gonna fail. And I'm going to swing into that tree. Obviously, I'm only doing this because I'm tied in right here as well so it's just a secondary it'll hold my body so i can you know stand comfortably and make my cuts but if something were to go wrong i do not want to be in this tree okay edic okay Pruning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I love it when you prune. I love pruning. I just feel like nice. Oh. <laughs> Behind the back. Gotta say, man, in my travels, one of the biggest things I've learned is that Douglas firs are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Don't you wish this was an Australian pine, though? Oh, man, I love those <laughs> things. It's getting a little bit movie up here now. Yeah? A little bit. A little jiggly? I put my weight in my rope. <laughs> I love that you're just putting those all over on your stock pile. This is how I do it, you know? Okay. Man, I love this thing. Oh, where's that? Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey there. Uh, little natural pruning on that maple below that vine maple. Oh man, you know what? Give this a test jiggle. That's a lot of tension on this limb. That is quite a bit of tension. I think uh, I'm gonna just keep going up and go past it. Kind of way up here. Definitely get up there. You all right? Yeah. Hit my GoPro. Oh. Sorry guys, you guys okay? <laughs> you guys okay? Sorry about that. It's dangerous business. Come on, baby. Oh. No! Oh, no, this can't be happening. What? <laughs> Dude, it's... What's going on? It's on a stub, my other rope. Like the carabiner? Like the carabiner is like... 
there's a stub in the there's a carabiner shaped stub that it's <laughs> <laughs> there's a carabiner shaped stub it opened up there's a hole in there and it clipped itself to it can you uh break a branch and like use Ooh. use that as a hmm a poker well, i don't really want to cut any of these branches oh, dude that's so dumb I don't know if that could hold me. <laughs> let's, let's not try. It's like a perfect carabiner shaped stub. <laughs> Bro, perfect. <laughs> well, I trust that. There's a lot of friction involved. You're solid, dude. Two, two dead nubs. <laughs> Score on the whipping. Isn't it awesome? Can you might need a pole saw? Can you does would you oh, oh nice? Oh, just need to say that earlier. That would your chainsaw reach that? I have my 20 inch bar. Oh, oh. I'll just bring the tree oh, over here. Yeah, there you go. Wow, you're strong. Ah. Just bring that whole tree over to me. Careful, you might uproot that one. <laughs> <laughs> I might. Oh, look at this. Look how secure I am. Well, here we are, folks. I'm tied into that one, and I'm tied into this one. I'm going over here, and I'm going to climb up, and I'm going to clear all this. So the idea is I want to clear all this, because I don't know if this tree is dependent on this one. I got it cleared from that one. I'm thinking I can cut these, and this tree's probably going to stay put. I'm going to clear those branches, and I want to be standing in that tree. I didn't want to take my rope out of that one, so I just got another rope. And I got two tie-in points now. I'm not even going to land it into this one, because I got two tie-in points already. Ooh, a lot of tension on that one. Ooh, dude, that one's... That one's tight, man. I'm scared of that one. Yeah? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. You're scared to cut, release that one? I'm gonna go past it. I'm gonna go up here. Cut some of the tree that I'm not scared to cut. <laughs> I like cutting these ones. <laughs> We are like, how much pressure is in that? Oh yeah, this is loose, that's nice. That's a good sign. Are you gonna be able to reach over and just top that thing? Like, Maybe. slice cut it? I kinda think so. I feel pretty, pretty good. That's pretty rad. Yeah, I'm glad I'm up here. I just don't don't like being on those when you have to do it. I know, I don't like that either. I mean, but I wouldn't know, I'm a pretty guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you are. Know. I have to hire you for my pruning crew for Enum Claw Tree Service. <laughs> there might be a company called Enum Claw Tree Service, I don't know. I want to be called Hand Snips and Hedge Bars. <laughs> <laughs> the name that I want for my company. Hand Snips and Hedge Bars. <laughs> my nightmare. <laughs> I can't even really tell because it's a weird angle. How many feet do you have above you? It looks like 20 to me. No, dude. It's at least 35 feet. 35? Yeah. Dude, it's a tall tree. Just ripping through that, ripping through it right now.
The long boom Jake. It's gonna take a long top. Boom Jake about to topper this thing out. Alright, here we go. I'm like shocked that's still <laughs> hold on. There it goes. Come on, baby. You know you want to. Give it to us. Come on. Oh yeah, there it's going. Hot mama pajama. He wanted 16 foot logs, right? Yeah. Definitely gonna be eyeballing. Uh, What's that? <laughs> 16 foot three. <laughs> Show him. <laughs> uh, I'll measure him when I get in the bucket. Did he really say 16 foot three? Yeah, that's what he said on the ground. It says 16 three and a half. <laughs> <laughs> We're topping this one uh, right here. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna cut this thing. We'll see if it, how much it jolts. <laughs> it's such a mystery. Right? <laughs> Could you see it move? Yeah. Well, more so I saw you move. <laughs> <The tree. laughs> yeah. My, I know my tree stood Your up tree a little moved, bit. Moved Oof. way more. That was awesome, though. I'll take two logs and then I'll get out of the tree. So I'll take my screaming eagle. Yeah. You know what? Can I have my 46? It's in the bed of my truck. Yeah. I'll take that. Okay, you're online. All right. For the long haul. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, all good. Uh, it's good for my getting my curls in. Yeah, curls for the girls. Yeah. That is a mess over there. <laughs> sorry. No, no, I, I like Get it. But done. Gives me uh, practice. <laughs> Here comes some logs. You want to film this, please? Yeah. Probably be good from over there. To see him go, but like right underneath me, you know. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, let it rip. I'm uh, no, like, if you go, you'll know. Like if I'm uh, right, you got your hiking stocks on. Where are you going? Like, where the top was at? Yeah, right where the top is, but just stand further back. <laughs> I didn't feel very safe right there in that spot. So I kind of ran a little bit. Sorry. No, no, Sorry. you're good. Anything for the content. How long how long did he want? Uh 163. Okay. So weird repelling like this. 163 sounds like 17 to me. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like 17 to me all day. Have a foot of burn off. Oh, <laughs> 
Oh, that would have been crazy. I was standing right there <laughs> <I didn't even laughs> behind that tree. Did you see it land? Yeah, I, well, oh, I, nice. I st took like a big step back and I was like, oh, <laughs> I need to be here. I, I didn't see it land, so. Yeah, yeah, here. It looks cool. Okay, well, I think I can get the rest from the bucket. Yeah. I'll just go mark 16. Mark 16. <laughs> Nicely done, Jake. Thank you. Oh, oh, I got you. Hold on. <laughs> Stay right there. <laughs> yep. I'll have your other rope bag over here, lickety split. <laughs> Double lickety. <laughs> no. I'm put these working stock to the test. <laughs> you don't have any hardware up there, do you? I don't need a retrieval ball or nothing. No. No, I like chicks, Randy. <laughs> 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 Me too. I do the same thing. <laughs> I like chicks, dude. I would never. <laughs> that was the coolest answer you could have ever. No, dude, I like chicks. I'm gonna start saying that for a lot of stuff. No, dude, I like chicks. That's a, that's my favorite thing. I'm gonna say it for everything now. <laughs> hey, you want to come over? No, nah, dude, I like chicks. <laughs> I'm glad that you you learned happy. something today. Yeah, you know? definitely learned something today. Learned something nice, even though day. I don't have as much experience as you, I've still got things I can teach. You know? <laughs> that's awesome. Do you want to uh, cut the logs in the bucket? Or do you want me to? I don't care. What sounds not, more fun to you? Watching me I do mean, it or me doing it? I, I guess I could make a few pruning cuts. Is it? Yeah. I'm such a dweeb. <laughs> <laughs> well, you had a ground guy as good as I have. I know. But it's cutting good for that five seconds? Yeah, for the few seconds that it was bogging down, yeah. it was amazing. <laughs> Gonna slide. You guys oiled it? Yeah, I oiled it up. 
Did you want me to start it for you so you don't have to hold your shoulder? <laughs> no, no, I, I got it. All right, I'll, I'll, I'll tote it over there for you. Here, we can do this. Do that, huh? Together. <laughs> I, I got the good end. <laughs> Just hold it there while we're Yeah. I'm gonna cut this stump down, check this out. I, so this is a saw that I did not need, but it came up on consignment at Madsen's. Trees with Dino, Dean Dawkins actually, I think this was his saw, brought into Madsen's, it went up on consignment and it was just like such a good deal that I bought this saw that I, I really don't need at 88 as much as I want one. I think I actually bought it, I'm gonna do like a raffle giveaway type deal um, for Sappy Supplies at some point and I think I'm gonna actually give this saw away. Um, but I, I have to have a little more time. I think I figured out how to legally do it. so. I'm going to do that probably because uh, I just can't justify keeping this thing right now. Um, but what? I'm gonna win it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know when I'm gonna do that. Um, but I, I haven't actually ran it yet, so this will be fun, you know, to run it. It's a 50 inch bar. I had the, the same saw at the east side. It was awesome to use. I just, uh, I think financially it would be best for me if I didn't keep this thing but i'm gonna have it for a little while i'm gonna at least cut a couple trees with it so but it's got all the but it's had a bunch of work done to it and it's got all the aftermarket parts i mean it's a it's a really sweet saw all the bells and whistles That's a saw. <laughs> yeah, it is. Maybe I should keep it. <laughs> I mean, if you're raffling, I'm buying like pretty, 30 raffles. <laughs> that thing is pretty sick, yeah, dude. Yeah, that's an uh, awesome saw. You, you know, what, what do you Man, I'm really happy with that stump. I'm like, please, 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 please don't <laughs> please rock that. Please rock. Which I really wanted to. I was going to go, oops. <laughs> just kidding. I dug it this far Not in the really. ground. You like cut a rock and say, just kidding. <laughs> just I want to go, and just run it as far as you can into the ground. Dude, that's a good running saw. This is a they great put saw. A, that's cutting good. For it's got like a 460 coil in it so that it revs way higher. Like it doesn't have that rev limiter that they have usually that, have. Uh, I got you. That, that's and then why it's it got the like max responsive. flow. Yeah, it's got the max flow. It's got the different coil. It's got the bark box. It's got the three point dogs. Like they pimped this thing out, dude. You should put a 20 inch or 25 inch bar on it and see what it. It's yeah. Like, <laughs> All right, that's it for this job. That was a good, fun day of tree work. Hopefully you like that. Please like and subscribe to this video. I'll keep you posted on the 88. I don't know if I'm gonna give that away. That's uh, think about that. <laughs> I, I really, I really don't need that saw, but it was pretty fun to use.
But anyways, this tree's down. That was a dangerous situation. It was kind of a puzzle pecking it apart here. But you know, you just try to stay calm, stay rational, and just you know think about what you're doing. Ted's great. He gave us some honey. He's gonna trade his uh, neighbor of his has a mill. He's gonna mill this up to make a fence, and he's gonna fix some equipment for for Ted. So it's just a great little town to live in, you know. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. Hope you like that video, and I'll see you guys later.